What's going on, guys? I didn't close my windows. I just passed out. I woke up to check some swings, and I made a couple hundred dollars. That's rad. Look, Tiffany's broke right now. That's why everyone was like, how come she, was in Par she went to Paris, but they didn't make a big deal at the airport, and she didn't stay in a fancy hotel, and she had to just take a mi minivan, because she's broke. Cause, or that, or, or she's broke enough to where she has to spend her own money right now. That stupid whore tried to ask me for $5,000 last month, probably so she could go whore around Paris and whatnot. And then, of course, like I said, I'm blocking her on everything, so she's stalking me with her burner accounts. And she made another burner account to yell at me. Because uh, I, like, posted her booty pics online, and she made an account and was like, She is dead, and a gold digger, see, she is in Paris prostituting herself, and she's selling her body for drugs and death. What a bad influence she is. And I say, she's not selling her body for drugs. She's selling her body for attention and less than $1,000 a month on Spotify. So that's, a, that's Tiffany Bot right there. Because I'm blocking her on WhatsApp. And... She has other ways of contacting me, like Telegram and whatnot. She just doesn't want to. So what she's doing is she's, like, constantly recreating accounts so I can, like, see that she's on Telegram or WhatsApp and expects me to talk. I don't give a shit. Stay the fuck away from me. See, everyone, Tiffany's selling her body for drugs and death in Paris. She's a bad influence, and here's proof. What's worse, she doesn't want to go home. Instead of continuing in Paris doing this... Here is your proof, Machina, and her. I wouldn't go that far, but she probably deserves it. All right. Look, Tiffany's ghetto used goods. She decided to be ghetto used goods. Her big plan was to steal from a child so she could get pimped out to, you know, Rick Boss and some other fucking losers and all that bullshit. What, Meek Rat and shit like that? You guys are losers. You guys are losers. You guys are losers. Or you wouldn't have to pimp out, try to pimp out and fail a 30 year old geriatric core. Okay? Whoever the fuck told you guys that was going to be a good idea, you should probably kick their ass. They're losers. They're bigger losers. All right? What I don't need is a geriatric whore who thought she was good. She was like, before, she, if what she was telling me was true, that she wanted to get married and all that bullshit, she was like, hold my weave in my earrings. Let me go be in this gangster rap music video. Not even gangster rap. You guys were, you guys were riding a BMX bike in a rented hangar with rented cars. If someone actually owns that, it's not a member of the Boulet Society. It's a member of the whatever the fuck's above the Boulet Society. And you go visit them in their office, and you do weird shit to them, and then they let you play with their toys. And you know it. You know that. You know that's how it is. You signed up for it because that's how it is. Because if you didn't want it to be that way, you would do some underground shit, like all the real rappers did in 2007 2009 when they started getting in 2007 to 2009 all the real rappers got killed seriously look it up there was like a huge underground rap thing in atlanta and they were all getting killed left and right and not like in shootouts with like gang fights it was like they would be like walking down the street and randomly some like mexican mafia fucker would like randomly kill just them and a crowd of people only just them would get killed right well with the mexican mafia being let in illegally are the democratic slash satanic cult members enforcement group. MS-13 is the SS of the liberals, of the woke liberals. They're not even liberals. They're posing as liberals and they're socialist communists pretending to be liberals. So instead of having the Stasi, they had the MS-13. Again, my buddy Young made a book about how the gangs in Northern Virginia used to be somewhat gentrified, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, MS-13 flooded everything because the government was funding them under the Clintons. Anyways, um, look. Um, she's just used goods. There's nothing you can do to go back in time and not steal from a child so you can get pimped out to a bunch of wannabe hood rats. And then you're like, well, I'll just go do some modeling gigs and everyone forget. No, we're not going to forget about it. At least I'm not. You're always going to be that ghetto trash you use goods for because that's what you chose. And if you magically show up 
even if you have $102,000 that you owe me, not even fucking factoring in the interest, you're still going to go to jail because you committed grand larceny. It's that simple. There's already people hunting for you. You have a good lawyer. That's why you're not arrested yet, okay? But good lawyers only got to fuck up once. That's all there is to it, all right? I'm going to go play more swings, and I don't give a shit if it's smoothie bitch. I don't give a shit if it's statistics bitch. I don't give a shit if it's some new bitch. It's just not going to be that bitch Tiffany. Tiffany's a geriatric menopausal used goods whore. She can go be another fucking failed ass wannabe rap video because no one wants her ass. It's that simple.